Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Elden Ring walkthrough. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am, and today we're going to be finishing up the Altus Plateau. But before we do, like always, let's go ahead and talk about everything I did off screen. And I did a couple of things. Number one, I farmed up a ton of ruins, enough to get five points into Vigor, Strength, and Dex. I also went ahead and put on my Beast Repellent Torch, and then I went back to the Round Table Hold and bought all the Demi God Armor. You don't have to do that, I just wanted to buy it because I like to get everything in a game. All right, now that that's all been said, let's go ahead and get started. First things first, let's go ahead and level up. Five into Vigor, five into Strength, and then five into Dex. Go ahead and pull your Beast Repellent Torch out. It's gonna come in handy. Get ourselves the golden epitaph. And then right here, we're going to take this at a sprint. We're going to have some chariots, or well, one chariot chasing us. We're going to run straight towards that item. Don't stop. Drop down right here. Turn around to get ourselves a Grave Glove Wart 6. Just keep moving. Having this Beast Repellent Torch makes things so much easier when dealing with Basilis. We're going to turn this way. Grab a stone sword key, and then grab a ghost glove wart. I like to take care of this guy real quick. That way he's not getting in our way. We're going to have to maneuver this very carefully. Then we want to come right here and then stop. There's going to be another chariot that spawns. And right here by this body, we're going to hop down. So we want to wait until the chariot turns around. And then we're going to grab the item and then hop down. Hop down again. Grab ourselves some Holy Grease. And then we want to hop down on another pillar in just a second here. And then about the middle of this beam right here is where we're going to fall down. You want to be about in the middle here. If you're anywhere different, you're going to fall to your death. Turn to your left. We can see a skeleton on the other side here. Take this at a sprint. Always makes my hands sweaty and shaky when I go across that because I sprint every single time. He's never attacked me while sprinting across that, but I don't want to take any chances. Right here, we're going to have another chariot. Let it go by. Turn around immediately. Go up here into this corridor. And we're going to hit this pillar in just a second. And then come over here. Get close to the wall. Wait for the chariot to turn around. Fall down right here. Go 
Okay, we want to wait for the chariot to come this way. That was really stupid of me. Try not to run too soon. This is very tricky. Man, I'm getting smacked around all over the place, aren't I? Luckily, I have enough health. Wait for him to turn around. And then this is the easy part. Just got to go this way. Go ahead and two-hand your weapon. You're going to be fighting an ill omen. Get ourselves the Crucible Feather Talisman. And then we're going to come up to this elevator and ride it up. So as soon as we hop down here, the chariots are going to start breaking. Trying to get rid of this skeleton. So now we don't have to worry about any more chariots. We're going to get the Ash of War Holy Ground along with the Tree Sentinel armor. We want to run to the top here. We're going to go back and grab that item that we missed earlier. Just some fan daggers, so if you don't care about them, you don't have to go and pick them up. I'm gonna run all the way back over to where this body was that was hanging over the ledge that we picked up the item off of, and we're gonna hop right back down here. So, again, where the body's at, you want to fall off, and then fall off again, and then right here we're going to fall off onto this beam, and we're just going to run straight across until we get about right here, and then we're going to fall off again. Worry about the basilisks, they're not going to harm us. Go ahead and pick up the vulgar militia ashes. And then climb up this ladder. Fall down right here, and now we're back to where we fell off by the body. We didn't fall off, but we walked off. We're going to come over to the left, take out this skeleton here. And then right here is going to be the hardest part of this dungeon. We're going to be fighting two Crucible Knights at the same time. So get ready for that.
you want to focus on one while your mimic or your spirit ash of your choice is focusing on the other. There we go. Took him out. So for killing both of the Crucible Knights, we get the Ordovius Greatsword. Super awesome sword. Check this one out. You won't regret it. Especially if you're like a strength, quality, and maybe a dex build. Eh, that's iffy on that one. We also get the Crucible Knight set. But we already have one. It's just a little bit of a different variant of it. Let's go ahead and fast travel to the beginning of the tomb. We're going to take the elevator up. Top on Torrent, we're going to ride the cliffside northeast. I am not going to put a marker down. There's no reason to. The catacomb is literally just over here. We just don't want that ruin bear to attack us. Or maybe you do, but I don't. Go ahead and light this grace. And then a lot of people really despise this catacomb. And for good reason. It is a, a puzzle one. So I'm going to do my best to show everybody the correct way of doing this. Take out all the pot boys first. And then right here is the gimmick. We're going to open up a chest. It's going to be a trap chest and it's going to teleport us to different parts of the dungeon. Now, if you ever mess up, you can always go back into the chest you just came out of and it'll send you back to the chest you originally opened. So keep that in mind. If you get a little bit lost, just turn around and open up the chest you already opened and it'll send you back to where you started. Well, not where you started in the very, very first chest, but the one you recently opened. If that makes sense. I'm going to hug this wall. There's an imp up top. And then to the left, there's one as well that I completely missed because I'm a scrub. And then over here to the left, got another one. We're going to open up this chest. And then we're going to have two pot boys. Oh, I hate when they do that move. It always messes me up. Pick up the Perfumer's Cookbook 3. 
And then we're going to go back through this chest. Now we're back to where we started. We're going to go to the right this time. Be very careful. There's two explodey boys over here. Let them jump at you. Roll away. We're going to go through this chest. We're going to crouch. We're going to kill this imp. Crouch again. And kill that imp. And take this at a sprint. I like to jump and get a R2 attack on him. And then turn around and take that guy out. Got an imp right there. Now we want to go to the top here. Be very careful, we got an explodey boy right here. So what we want to do is we want to take him out really fast and roll away. Easy. Get some root resin. And we're going to backtrack. We're going to go over to the left. And then instead of going straight this time towards that chest, we're going to come to the left. And then we're going to open up this chest first. Take out these imps. Climb this ladder. And then open up this chest. There's an explodey boy right here. And then just to the left is a big pot boy. And then we get another ritual pot. Smithing stone five. We actually got quite a few ritual pots and cracked pots in this area. We're just backtracking. Careful not to run off the ledge here. Now that we're back, we're going to veer off to the left, and then we're going to take this chest. Be careful of the explodey boys.
Grab another cracked pot. And another cracked pot. We're going to climb to the top of this ladder. And then we are done with this dungeon. Pull this lever. Hop on down. Go up the stairs. And then we just have to go through this chest. And we're back at the start. Hopefully that wasn't too painful for anybody. I know I went a little fast through it. But... It's pretty simple once you learn the layout. So right here we're going to have a pretty easy boss. It is not going to be very hard. Just a duelist. And he's already dead. So for killing the duelist, we get the sold Jars of Fortune. Let's go ahead and put a couple markers down before we head over to the beginning of the dungeon. Our first one's going to be right here. Our second one is going to be way over here. We're going to be fighting a dragon. Our third one is going to be over here. Fourth one is going to be way over here. And then lastly, our fifth one's going to be way down in Kalid because I forgot about this Everjail. Okay, let's go back to our map here. It's easier to do it that way. I'll see everybody at the beginning of this tomb. gonna hop on torn and then we're gonna ride the side of this cliff just here be careful of the rune bear try not to aggro him or her whatever it is we're gonna come over to this spirit spring I'm gonna take it on up stay over by the cliff there's a couple of iron golems up here And then right over here, we have a summoning pool. I don't know why this thing is so janky, but I have to get like on the side of it to activate it. So weird. Summon in your mimic or whatever you're using. And then we are gonna be fighting a Draconic Tree Sentinel. Gonna try to get my guy to grab aggro towards him. Oh, good lordy. You hit me hard. Okay, so for killing him, we get the Dragon Great Claw and the Dragon Claw Shield. Pretty decent items. You should check them out. We're going to come over to this Grace. We're just going to light it. We're not going to rest at it. We don't need to. And we're not going to continue forward. We'll be doing the capital much later. Well, not much later, but later on. We're going to come over here to the rampart side path.
We're gonna face east, southeast. We're gonna come down this way. We've been over here before, so it's nothing new. Ah, trying to put my uh, shield back on. It's not cooperating. Go ahead and take the spirit spring up. Drink a wondrous flask of physic. And then the dragon should be coming along here. Be really careful with this dragon. It does hurt quite a bit. Oh my goodness. I just got hit with lightning like four times. There we go. Let's go ahead and take that marker off. Now we're going to go all the way down to the Altus Highway Junction. Let's go ahead and sit at this grace. We're going to pass time until nightfall. Go ahead and hop on our trusty steed. Drink our wondrous flask. And this guy shouldn't be too hard. We're pretty strong compared to this guy. If I can ever hit him. So we get the Ash of War shared order for killing that Black Knight. Now we want to come up here to the Hermit Merchant Shack. Want to be very careful. There is a bell bearing hunter that is going to attack us. So what I'm going to do is drink a flask. buff up and then come over here and as soon as he starts spawning in get as many hits on him as I possibly can Took care of the bell bearing hunter. We get the medicine peddler's bell bearing. Just gonna rest at this grace to get our wondrous flask back. And then we're gonna change out to our Lord Sworn's quality greatsword. The reason why is because we are going to be fighting a death bird. Fun times. Gonna head over to the fourth marker.
Oh, good lord. That hurt. We get the Twin Bird Kite Shield. Nothing really special about that. So if you don't care about it, don't bother with the Death Bird. We're just riding back to the Merchant Shack so that we can sit out of grace and then fast travel, de-aggro everything pretty much. Let's go over to Kaled. Take off that marker real quick. Let's go over to Kaled. We're going to come over to the Dragon Burrow West. Almost said South. I apologize. Dragon Burrow West. Let's hop on Torrent. And then we're going to face Southeast. Ride the edge of this cliffside. And then as soon as you get over here. You can hop down where this root is. Shouldn't take any damage. Right here we can see that there's a statue to break. I never get this statue and the reason why is because this dragon right here is a straight asshole. It will just walk its way over to this statue. It's really janky. Uh, I just, I don't know. It sucks. So I'm not even going to bother with it. We're going to put our Bloodhound's Fang back on. But if you want to lure that dragon over to the statue, get yourself some Smithing Stone Fives. Feel free. I'll probably just do it off screen. Let's go ahead and go into this Ever Jail. It's going to be a super easy fight. So for killing him, we just get his spirit ash. Nothing real special. So if you don't care about this ever jail, uh, you don't have to bother. But it, it's just a spirit ash. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the round table hold and end the video. So I'll see everybody over there. All righty, everyone. I want to start by telling everybody thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. It really does mean a lot to me. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, whatever time it may be. And you're part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.